game night. Yup. Hello, movie lovers, and welcome to Movie Notions. Today, we're going to be talking about Game Night, the new movie starring Rich McAdams and Jason Bateman. Now, this movie, when I first saw the credits, I was like, oh, this movie's going to be so dumb. I, it's, it, the premise about it is just like, it's going to be great. And guess what? It didn't disappoint. It was really dumb, but it was really funny. So here's the story behind it. We have these two... These three couples and this one specific couple that are very competitive and they have a weekly game night and basically what happens is they're invited to a different person's house for game night, a guy that has a little bit of money, and that person then decides, hey, we're going to have a murder mystery and it's going to be, you know, sort of in depth. He hires this entire company to do it so you have an actual kidnapping, everything like that, and basically we find out that while there is this game going on, it's not exactly real. There's different parts of it that actually have happened, and they need to go through it. And there's a lot of things beyond that I could go into, but that would give away the story, and I don't want to give that away for those of you, for those of you that haven't seen it. So basically, we have this comedy where there's this cu these couples that think, oh, hey, <laughs> we're having a great time. There's a good game. And then all of a sudden, this is real. And, and instead of using, like, guns with blanks, there's real bullets. And, I mean, you, you would have seen that scene in the trailer if you saw it. But it, there's a lot of funny parts in all of this. It was just sort of, how do we deal with this? How is it going into here? Um, what should I believe? What should I not believe? Who should I trust? And it's one of those sort of comedies. And it was really funny. Um, I, I really enjoyed I found myself laughing the whole time. I felt myself actually at some points feeling really bad about laughing at some parts because it's some things you really shouldn't laugh at. But, I mean, it, it is a dark comedy. It's supposed to be that way. Um, but you know, it's one of those that it's it's a fun movie. You just go watch it, knowing that you're going to be seeing these stupid comedy come out, and there's really no point to it all. So anyway, what what were my thoughts about it? Was it a good movie? No, <laughs> it was a terrible movie. I'm, I'm not gonna lie, it was awful. The premise was unique. It was kind of funny, and the action in it was funny. So it was very entertaining. It was very entertaining, but it was not a good movie by any standards. Uh, but I did enjoy it because of the comedy. You don't go into movies like this uh, looking for very good movies. You go into this movies wanting to laugh, and that's exactly what you got. So it definitely served its purpose, even though it may not be the best movie of all time. And from there, would I recommend it? I would recommend it maybe on like a second run or a matinee type scenario. I wouldn't pay the full price to go see this one because, like I said, there's not much you're going to get out of it other than a few laughs over the course of a couple of hours. But, you know, it's one of those that you could go see and enjoy that. Is it appropriate for kids? No. No way. There is no part of this movie that is any appropriateness for children. Make sure your kids are 18 if they want to see this. Okay, they must be old enough to see it because there are a lot of things that a younger person should not see. And if they do know what's going on, they should not know about that yet. So make sure your kids are of age when they see this. Anyway, that was my review of this movie. Like I said, there wasn't much to it. It was a two-hour comedy fest that kind of threw a story in there that was kind of unique. Then it was pretty interesting. So if you want to check it out, go ahead. That'd be great. If you are new to this channel, please be, please be sure to subscribe down below. I do reviews like this as often as I can. Sometimes I get a little busy with my full-time job that I can't do it as often as I like. But be sure to subscribe so you don't miss the next one. Also, comment below on what you thought of Game Night if you saw it. I mean, I, I it's, this is only my opinion. There can, there can be many different ones out there, and you could definitely share it with yours. And I, I don't mind starting a conversation about this as well. So go ahead and leave a comment in there. Like this video if you do. Anyway, guys, thanks for watching. God bless all of you. And that's a wrap.